The overall goal of this procedure is to perform nascent RNA fish on sections of post-implantation embryos as well as on short-term cultures of ectoplacental cones. With this technique, single-cell analysis of transcriptional activity can be evaluated in embryonic tissues and explant to study the dynamic changes in gene expression that occur during in vivo development. This method can help answer key questions in the fields of development, epigenetics, and cell biology. Here, we use it to study X chromosome inactivation and imprinting in an extra embryonic tissue, the trophoblast giant cell. To begin, isolate E7 conceptuses in PBS in a 60 mm dish. First, dissect the embryo. Begin with forceps. Pierce the sample and open and tear the two sides of the decidua apart. Then, shell out the embryo. Use the fine forceps tips in a scissor-like fashion to carefully separate the ectoplacental cone, or EPC, from the embryo proper. The goal is a perfectly clean sample without maternal tissue, chorion, or yolk sac. Next, prepare flame-sterilized 12mm round cover slips and place them in four well plates. Load each well with one cover slip and 500 microliters of EPC medium. Now, deposit the EPC at the center of the cover slip and press it gently into position using the forceps. Central placement of the EPCs is critical. Culture the loaded plates for 3 to 5 days at 37 degrees.